Steve uh, Pudgy ADS aka okay, Little London um, I've got a 2015 um, scooter that's come in it's got some damage on it um, and a 2,451 miles um, I'm going to use this as a project it needs to have its tyres changed um, obviously it needs a good service and stuff so I'm going to go through it and I'm going to sort of video oh, lots of little tips and uh, one of the things I've got to do first of all is uh, as you can see the brake master cylinder the glass itself is shattered um, and that's probably due to the fact is this never come in for a service hasn't been serviced in over three years and this really needs to be changed every two years um, so that's the job I'm going to do now we've ordered the part up for the bloke um, so I'm just going to put the part on and then obviously I've got to bleed it through so when I'm bleeding it through I'm going to show you how you can bleed yours through just simply by using uh, an 8mm spanner you need some dot four brake um, fluid um, and it's a nice nice simple procedure that anyone at home should be able to do just remember again if you're under warranty please don't attempt any of this stuff yourself take it back to your dealers okay so i'll be back in just one second okay so obviously i've removed the mirror i'm just about to remove uh, the clamp and it, it it literally has just got two of those which are under there uh, they can be a bit um stiff and can corrode up a bit i mean these come off quite easily but when you put anything back always use copper grease it should pop off <coughs> excuse me if, if, if you're going to re remove it um but like i said this is also going to show you how to bleed it so um i'll just i'm going to put a new one on and comes back to you so i've removed the old reservoir i've disconnected the, the uh brake switch wires um and i've uh disconnected the pipe now normally um i've put some new washers on there but i'm going to just go through this quickly just to see what happens now this has been leaking for a while and because it's been leaking what it's done is actually caused some damage but on this it doesn't really matter as i said because there's quite a bit of damage anyway so it's being changed but that's what's happened because the customer sort of left it for so long uh, it's just been dripping down and it's just been eating away at the paint so um you know if you're going to do this just make sure you cover it all up and it's always good to rinse it off with water afterwards anyway so like i said i'm just going to put a new one back on and uh, i'll get back to you in a bit okay so this is how we um start the bleed so the first thing we want to do is remove these two phillips um and then take the top off um you can see it in there there's nice clear fluid um but i can promise you in the pipe all the way down to here that it's not going to be clear at all. I mean, you can see this has not been looked after. This is, I've got to do a literal major service all the way through this. So we're going to use an 8mm. You just remove that cap off. Yours should probably just flick off if it's nice and new. That's so old that it's actually broken off. And we're just going to put the 8mm on. And we're just going to crack it open. And then uh, I'm going to show you that because the fluid's so thin, it literally is going to drip out. Now, I have a machine for this. A lot of you won't have a machine. So this is going to be gravity fed and I'll show you exactly how easy it is and what to look out for. Now on top of the reservoir it says here to use only dot three or dot four. Now I use a dot four. Um, I normally put it in a little cap like that. It's just a cap of a spray. Uh, reason being this is a lot easier um, bottle wise and then also to put it into the reservoir which is here. So as I said you can see that this is nice and clean in here but in the pipes it's not going to be. So I'm just going to go down. I said normally I would do a machine but you're not going to have this so if I if I crack this and I'm pushing it downwards this way in fact you can see how quick that's dripping through and that's just one little crack now that shouldn't be coming through that quick if I undo it a bit more now I'm just like I said if I you've got to rinse this off afterwards but I need to get back up to here now because you'll see that this fluid's going down really quick okay so I'm going to grab some new fluid and I'm going to just tip some in here. I'm going to look, try not to go too far, just sort of like go up to uh, the, the top of the fill mark. The reason is you can see it's going down. I need to then get back down here because what we're looking for is a change in the colour. Now, you can see that that's white. Ah, white, clear. What I'm looking for is what's happening now. So, you can actually see there's bubbles coming for us because of the heavy, heavier fluid, the newer fluid, forcing its way down, gravity fed. Uh, 
and now I need to get back you can just see it's just starting to come through now the colour is just starting so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my finger I'm just going to tighten it up go back up to the top because what we don't want to do is we don't want this to empty out okay so I'm going to tip a bit more in I'm going to you can see the bubbles just there so I'm just going to tip a wee bit more be really careful so you can see it's just again just at the very top bit not right at the top but just on top of the uh, glass housing so now <coughs> this is a bit of fun all, all running around I'm going to get really fit today you go back down to the nipple and it is called a nipple and then what we're going to do is I'm just going to pinch it off again and I'm going to watch it now you can see the difference and what I'm doing is I'm waiting for a nice steady flow of the same colour which I can just see now now that would have pushed all the fluid through the only little bit that's going to be in there is going to be where the piston is so I'm going to nip that up just a little tiny nip you can see the difference in there you can actually see where it's well you can see where it can't even dry to how old the fluid is so I'm just going to go back up, double check the top here, because it goes down quite fast. You can see how fast it's gone down, and very, very gently I'm just going to pull the lever. And you can see the bubbles coming out of it. So I'm just going to give it a couple pushes. Okay, now it's started to go, and I've got a break now. So I need to top this up. So it's looking all right on the window, but I can see inside that it can do with a little bit more. I'm just going to go back down again, because now I've given it a pump. And the reason we do it up is, is we don't want to suck air back into the system. <clears throat> so I'm hopefully now, it's going to get the last lot of the old stuff out. And that's running nice and thick. So I'm going to nip that up. So the last time I'm going to do this, that's so going to be nipped up to be tight. Put the cap back on. I'm going to clean that off with water in a minute. I'm going to come back up to the top. You can see the reservoir. And I'm just going to top that up again. And literally I'm going to top it so it just comes to the top of there. Put it all back together again and there you are. That's your brake fluid change. I hope that helps. I'm sorry it's a long winded uh, video but you also get to see how to change it. And everything else. Don't forget... If you're changing the system, to put your um, brake switch back on again. Um, I'll always check it before you go out on the road. Thanks for watching. Cheers.